What's up guys, it's your boy Goblins reporting in during Iron Banner, okay? I just want to go ahead and say I apologize for not uploading in the last few days or so. Uh, as you guys know, I love, I love Iron Banner. I, I love Banner. I'm in love with the Banner. I really do, like, I, I love Iron Banner so much. Usually when Iron Banner happens during the month, it's kind of like, that's, like, I, I, my uploads kind of just, like, lag around, because I'm, I'm going hard, I'm going hard in the Salad Lord, you know what I'm saying? But I figured I'd take a little break for you guys and just kind of go over the last weekly update that went down where we talked about the Taken King and the Dreadnought, and, like, I'm hyped on this, I am the hype man for everything Destiny, but I am hyped for this one, this one's gonna be sweet. So we found out this week that the Dreadnought is not actually only going to be a, a place where you take out Oryx. The Taken King. You also can patrol there, and there's gonna be plenty of patrol missions to do there, plenty of things to do for patrol while you're on the Dreadnought, plenty of places to explore, and I guess it makes sense. You gotta think of this ginormous cathedral, like, it, uh, there was a um, giant, huge place that's probably like five times the size of the tower itself, just to explore and go and actually patrol. And I really do think this is going to be the return of patrolling as a whole because, you know, patrol's not bad right now, but, you know, you go on patrol, you do your missions, you do maybe a couple things on the side here and there, and that's about it. You just do a loop around and go, boom, okay, I did all that today, and that's really it. But this time, you'll actually want to go and patrol places. You want to go do things on patrol in the Dreadnought, which is really fucking cool. Yeah! Yeah! So Bungie really went and elaborated how big the Dreadnought is, just with a couple of these screenshots here, and it just looks fantastic. I am so excited for this. Once again, September 15th couldn't come sooner. I'm excited for all the new guns and everything else that's on the way, but the huge thing is the Dreadnought. So for all you guys that are still exploring the Vault of Glass and thinking that there might be something still in the Vault of Glass, which there probably is, put your aluminum foil hats on, the Dreadnought apparently is going to have plenty of secrets to discover and plenty of different chests and areas and all this different type of shit to go and take advantage of on Oryx's flagship, which is nuts. It definitely was necessary for them to add a new patrol type mission because once again, we, we, I know we all feel as Destiny players that patrol can be lacking sometimes. It really is lackluster sometimes. And once again, I feel like this is kind of like Bungie's step to make patrol that much better, essentially. It makes it so it's one, something you want to do on a daily basis where you go and just patrol the Dreadnought, or maybe they even are going to add things to, like, Earth and different spots to Earth and Moon and all that stuff, which would be really cool for patrol missions. Because the idea of patrol is supposed to be that, you know, it's this giant free world where you and other Guardians can meet up and stuff like that. I remember the first, like kind of bit where they showed off patrol for destiny back in the day was like yeah it's this big expansive world with tons of guardians filling it and all that stuff and it, it is it really is but we don't get to see the fullest of that extent and as far as the raid goes i believe it's going to start off like the other raids where it's just kind of like you start off in a certain area of that map and you get the raid started and you're probably going to be able to explore areas that you could never explore just by patrolling essentially but yeah, going back to the topic of just being able to patrol and see these guardians in this giant expansive world, I think that's I think that's where Bungie's trying to go to with all this, because that's what they wanted to do originally, and they didn't really have the time or space to do it, most likely. But this time, they're actually doing that, so I can only cross my fingers and hope that the Dreadnought is what it is, and as expansive as it sounds. Of course, it's going to be hardcore players that figure that shit out within the week or something like that, but if Bungie played it smart and played their cards right, if anything, it's going to be like Vault of Glass where you have to explore it non-stop for like a year straight until you figure out all the hidden secrets of the dreadnought and that would be awesome but bungie rests assured that destiny will be receiving this amazing new patrol expansion of course with many other additions to it as well but with harder patrol bosses harder aspects to patrol much more difficult public events and all that crazy stuff which is going to bring guardians all together in one spot to do all that stuff together which is going to be really really cool because the concept of doing a daily back when destiny first came out was like awesome it was so cool to just like get out there and like oh man like 10 guardians to swarm this one little thing and like defend it you know what i mean like that was cool now i think we're gonna see a lot more of that stuff but a lot more extensive and just like seeing the screenshots of some of the enemies that you're gonna come across it, it looks pretty fucking cool like the dark blade man damn i like i'm scared of that thing oh man <laughs> is that is this really a good idea to fight this thing I don't even know. So that's where I kind of feel like Bungie's redeeming themselves. Um, the Dreadnought's going to be a huge place to patrol. It's going to offer a ginormous raid. There's going to be plenty of missions available across the entire universe of Destiny so far. And I really, really hope that Bungie does this right. I really hope that Bungie does the original way that they want to do patrol in the Taken King. And I really feel like that's what's going to go down. With every single expansion, I always say this is this is the Destiny we've been asking for. And it's only going to get better. And that's that. I feel like that's exactly what's going down once again with the Taken King. 
We're only pushing that envelope that much more with Destiny and making that much more of a game that you want to actually play and get into. Which is really fucking cool, because I like Destiny, and I like people getting into Destiny. All about that Destiny Sherpa life! All about helping out my kinder guardians, you know what I'm saying? Yeah! Alright guys, I gotta get back to Iron Banner. It's it's calling my name, I gotta get my characters done, like, ASAP. That's all I really want to talk about for today, guys, and just, of course, give you a little bit of an update where I've been at and what's going down. So with that all being said, as per usual, if you guys enjoy the video, drop a like for your boy, Goblins, if you feel like supporting me and all that good stuff, and I really do appreciate it, of course. With that all said and done, as I usually say, take it easy, have a general good, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out! <laughs>